Hey guys, Luke Jackson with Iron Trail Trap Line. Today we are going to be going over uh, the Bridger one and a half versus the Duke one and a half and which one I personally prefer. So just some background on them. Um, I probably have eight dozen of the Duke one and a halves and 12, 13, well, 13, 14 dozen of the Bridger one and a halves. And then every year um, I you know, run pretty much all of them on pocket sets for coon, mink, and rats, blind sets, um, set them on muskrat huts, stuff like that. PVC sets, you know, pretty much if I'm out trapping the rivers, road trapping, I'm setting a one and a half. It's just a very versatile trap. You know, you can get everything from coon, mink, muskrat, beaver, otter, um, skunk, stuff like that, you know, so. We'll go over, go over each trap, what I like about it, what I dislike about it, kind of the pros and cons, and um, which one I prefer. So the Duke has stronger springs. Um, they're definitely stout. Um, and the pan, you know, it's nice and thick, so it, it, I've never had one bend. So here you go, it's closed jaw. And they have it hooked to the side with the swiveling point there, and then the swivel at the end. So now it is not night latched or anything. Uh, it's just a traditional pan setup. And I'm a big fan of night latch. So if you do buy the Duke, I would suggest night latching it. But I will tell you about the pan I do instead, which I think makes it into you know double the trap what just a stock Duke is. So the Bridger one and a half. Um, it's number two chain versus the twin link, and I'll show you, I'll show you the swivel bodies too side by side. So you can see that the swivel body on the Duke is larger, uh, but much thinner versus the Bridger. So I prefer the swivel on the Bridger and chain. I uh, definitely prefer the number two machine chain versus uh, Duke's um, twin link. So the other part about this trap I like, um, now it's not quite as strong as the Duke, but I've caught otter and beaver in it. They're waiting for me in the morning. So yeah, I'd prefer to have the stronger, you know, stronger springs than what it has, but it totally gets the job done. Um, but as you can tell, the pan setup is nice. It's night latch, I love the pan. This is what's the seller for me on this trap is the pan. That being said, the pan is a little more fit, you know, flimsy than I would like. You can kind of see, it's pretty thin. Um, I have had it bend a few times, but you know, if I'm running 13, 14 dozen, and you know, I straighten out a couple of season because of a otter or beaver that I catch in a pocket set, it's no big deal. You know, it's it's such a small percentage; it doesn't even matter. So uh, I'll show you the night latch on the Bridger because this is definitely definitely my favorite part. You just get it set, depress the panel, hear the audible click. There you go. Look how flat that pan lays. Like, I absolutely love, you know, the night latch on the Bridger. So, just factory out of the box. Um, there's a lot less tinkering around with the Bridger. You know, just out of the box, I'd pick a Bridger any day of the week. Um, I just feel like the quality is better straight out of the box. It's more usable. Now, if you do want to go the Duke route or you have an existing Dukes, this is what I've done. Um, I've switched over to a Wild River pan. So I'll show you how that works. The pan, in my opinion, is the biggest downfall. You know, you can always replace the chain stuff, but the pan on the Duke is the biggest downfall, in my opinion. So I'm going to set the Duke with the Wild River pan. You can see how that works. There you go. If you look on the top, you can see the notch in it. Shows where the dog placement is. Um, you, know, you can get it to the hair trigger, or whatever your personal preference is. And the kill area on the Wild River pan is much larger than, you know, say the stock. It's kind of hard to see. But say the stock Duke pan um, really comes into play if you're mink trapping. You know, you have one chance at a mink rolling by the pan. Um, you know, replacing the Duke pan with the Wild River pan, I think it turns it into an absolutely great trap for um, running pocket sets. So, 
Yeah, you know, I guess if I'd still preferred the Bridger, I think, over the Duke, but I don't know. I guess it's so little of a difference that I, you know, I grab them out of the bucket when I'm out trapping and don't care which one I get. So, you know, straight out of the box, Duke's by far my least favorite over the, you know, compared to the Bridger. So, hope that helps. You know, let me know in the comment section what you guys prefer. Um, if you have any questions about any one and a halves or coon trapping, mink trapping, let me know. If you guys want the specifications on the Bridger, um, go to irontrailtrapline.com and we'll have everything there. Also, when you're there, if you want to, if you're picking up some coon traps like the Bridger one and a half and you want a bottle of lure for free, just add a bottle of Iron Trail Lure. This is Ringtail Reaper, which is a sweet raccoon food lure. It's absolute dynamite on the coon. So add a one ounce bottle to your cart plus you know $50 of other gear and use promo code YouTube and it will be free, which you cannot beat. So we'd love if you guys subscribe, give us a like, um, ask any questions you want in the comments, give us a call, email us. We're always looking to help people get into trapping or further your knowledge if you're currently into it. So thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.